Hi, my name is André Lage, and today I'm talking about Microsoft lists and how you can make a customization of the columns. For this example, I will pick a date time uh, column and I will include a, a customization that you can find on the GitHub repository for list formattings. So let's start. The first thing that I did it was the creation of one custom list, in this case called presentation. The second step is the creation of our, our columns and our support columns. In this case, we am going to create a date time column. Okay, and here I will include do date. After the creation of the column, I'm going to access to the list formatting repository that can access on the sheet hub area itself. And from there, we're going to the columns examples uh, that is available. And then we access to the date compress format. There we're going to find the JSON where we can create uh, our customization for the date time. In this case, I'm going to reduce uh, the months, the date, and also have a vertical year. I'm going to access to the JSON, and then I'm going to copy the content. I'm going to return to my uh, list and then I will select on the column, column settings and format this column. And there uh, the side panel will expand and the due date column will be selected. On the advanced mode you can select the option there. Select all the content and paste it. Save the content and cl close your side panel. As you can see, there is a box that is available now. When we select it, we can choose our date. And then we can see our formatting. So in this case, we can see the month of March, the, nine, the day of 9 and the year 2022. So let's give a look on our current uh, formatting. If we go to our formatting and advance, and also the columns, and then we choose the due date, we're going to see multiple options uh, available. The selection of the date, it is included on the inline edit field. This gives us the ability to choose the date itself directly on the column. The other option that we have it is also the definition of the months. As you can see here, I'm using the, the current months that we are, and then I'm matching if it is each different month to return the associated number name. In this case, we are on March, and March it is. And then we just need to get the date that we are using. In this case, will be the get date and the get year. The date will be the day and the year will be our vertical year itself. And then we have our own customization, how we can change the, the date in a very different way that we have it today. More compressed with a different color. And at any moment you can select and change the date. And that's all you can do. This is a very simple sample that you can use for make a customization of your dates. Thank you. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.